Alright guys, this is Tacho here, and today we're playing ARMS for the first time on the channel. It's a really cool game, and it came out just a couple of days ago, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Grand Prix, and I'm gonna show you guys a quick way to farm a couple of coins if you wanna buy some more ARMS. Because if you go over here to the ARMS shop, it costs quite a bit of coins to be able to play the long timer and win the most possible ARMS you can, and you really wanna win ARMS in this game because they help you fight and they give you different attacks and different techniques that you can use when you're fighting so it's really important to get some arms so let's go ahead and play Grand Prix I'm gonna use Springman he is my favorite character in the game so far even though he is one of the two default characters and we're gonna play on level 2 difficulty because it's easy and it wins a lot of coins pretty quickly so let's get started here Alright, this guy here, Biff, he's basically just Sheldon from Splatoon, except with a fist on his head. Alright, but anyway, here we go, we're starting the first match. We're up against the cops, Bite and Bark. I actually hate these guys, they're really annoying. Because you gotta fight the dog and you gotta fight the guy as well. And the arm that I like the most right now is the dragon, and I'm gonna show you why. It's really good, especially against the CPU, because they can't really handle it. You just charge it up, and then you fire the laser beam, and most of the time you'll get him, and it does a lot of damage, but this guy is giving me some trouble. He's dodging a bit. Alright, yeah, so this is the strategy, really, to win really quickly in, in story mode, and also farm some good amount of coins. Alright. He's dodging and weaving. Alright, uh, he did a grab, he got me. If they try to grab you, you can always just punch and then the punch should be enough to knock their grab away. That's why I have the toaster, the default arm set as my second weapon next to the dragon. Because the thing about the dragon is even though it's really powerful and it's got the laser beam, it's still a little slow to start up. So I'm trying to balance that out by having the toaster alongside it. Alright, yeah, th these fights do take a bit of time. I'm just gonna rush and get the kill right there, because the CPU doesn't know how to handle rushes. Especially not on level 2 difficulty like we're playing here. And it's also a good idea to try to get a flawless, so that you get a couple more coins as a prize if you get a flawless win. And that is what we're doing here. We're trying to farm some coins so I can power myself up and get some better arms to use in rank. Yeah, it's tough to get a flawless on this guy though, because the dog just keeps on punching you. Really annoying dog. You can punch the dog to like knock him out, like right there I punched him. But he gets back up in a little bit, so it, it, it helps for a couple of seconds, but not really. And I'm just going to use my rush to get rid of him fast there. Okay. I love the replay, man. It's like, BAM! You get to see him get clocked in the face three times there. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I won four coins for that fight. If I was able to get a flawless, I would have won five coins there. I think you only get one extra coin for a flawless win, and you only need to get one flawless win out of the two fights. Okay, this map here, Snake Park, is a really annoying map. Especially in rank. Th this map is like the most uncompetitive map ever because you're just on these like I don't know what they are like hoverboards or whatever and while you're on this you can just keep on dashing and it's really hard to hit people when they're on these things so I really hate this map it's one of the dumbest maps in the game but still it, it does look awesome I, I like the way it looks it's, it's just that all they need to do is get rid of these dumb skateboard things and the map would be fine I'm just going to keep on trying to spam the dragon, but it, it, it's not really going to work too well here. Because of this map and all these hoverboard mechanics, all these hoverboard shenanigans going on here. Yeah, look, look, look at how bad my rush accuracy is while I'm on this thing. And I, I guess we'll get off of it. There's really no reason to be on it. And as soon as I get off of the thing, he gets on it. 
So now I get, it's gonna be hard for me to hit him. Man, it, as if this game wasn't already slow-paced enough, they gotta have this mechanic on this stage to just make it even slower. As if it's hard enough trying to hit these guys in the first place, right? Alright, well anyway. Kid Cobra, he, he's a pretty cool character. He, he has a really fast run. But I, I think, like... And he also has really good starting arms, so he's not a bad character if you're a beginner to the game. Alright, and we... One through attrition there, that's how most of my ranked fights go. Win by running down the timer. There's just not many ways to safely approach and safely apply pressure unless you're doing it on defense. You can't really make a push and do it on offense in this game. It's a very, like, I guess the best way to explain it would be you play in a counter punch style and you wait for them to make a move and then you try to punish them for it. But it's still really hard to punish due to the accuracy not being the best and also there's a lot of options you can also do even when you're on defense. Alright, I, I got him there. Wait till I have to fight Mummy Man and um, Mechanica. Then you're gonna really see how, how OP these dragon arms are against the heavy units especially. You just lock them out completely. There's, there's nothing they can do to get in your face if you just keep on applying the charge shot with the dragon arm and applying pressure that way. Alright, I got him there with the rush. Oh man. That stupid skateboard thing is so annoying. Alright, he throws me with... I don't know which arm he used to freeze me with, but... The element arms are pretty good too. Like, I know the electric arm is pretty popular online because... You can use it to cause the stun effect and knock down both of your opponent's arms. And when your arms are knocked down, you can't really retaliate. You're going to be stunned for a couple of seconds. So it leaves you open for a grab or a rush attack. Alright, we're playing basketball now against this dude here, the cucumber looking guy. I like this guy. He's pretty goofy. And we're playing some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys were up to no good, right? To all you Fresh Prince fans out there. Just grab them and just dunk them. Basketball is one of the easier mini games. The I would say the toughest mini game is probably the, the target practice one where you're both like punching at each other and... Alright, uh, yeah, right there he was stunned and then both of his arms were disabled, so I got a free grab there. I don't know why I'm charging my arms here. I'm not using the dragon, I'm just going for grabs so I can get quick dunks on him. I guess I could go for the rush too, because you can knock them off the wall on the back there and they bounce right into the hoop. Actually guys, comment down below if you watched the NBA Finals this year. Man, the, the Warriors wrecked them. It, it wasn't even close. Well, I guess Game 3 was kind of close, but they almost won actually. The Cavs almost won Game 3, but then they went and blew it and Kyrie botched a 3 really late game where when it really mattered, so that that's their own fault for losing. They could have at least won that game, though. That, that would have been a game that they should have won. And then they won the next one, so they avoided the sweep. Alright, but anyway, it, enough basketball talk. Let me just show you guys how OP the dragon arms are against the heavy units. Because these guys are so slow, they just can't get out of the way. It's You might be saying, oh, well, I'm only fighting a level 2 computer here, and he's not going to know how to deal with this anyway. But it, it's pretty much the same thing online. The heavy units have very little options against the dragon arm. 
I might actually get a flawless here. Yeah, I did get a flawless. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I guess I didn't. He must have hit me and did like chip damage or something. I must. I must have been blocking and taking a couple of damage there. <laughs> Just look, look how cheap this is. If I was fighting a real opponent here, he probably would just rage quit and DC on me. Not that I blame him, this is like really cheap tactics here. But we're just playing the score here. We're, we're not really playing against an opponent, we're just playing to farm some coins. Alright, there, we got the perfect. So I'm going to get an extra coin for that. Alright, so we got five coins there instead of the usual four. Okay, looking good. Alright, we're fighting Twin Tail. Yo, this, this chick has the thickest booty, man. And you guys know, if you watch the Castlevania Let's Play, you know I am a booty man. So, Twin Tail is my kind of girl. And she's sophisticated too, I like her. She, she's like drinking from a teacup with the pinky extended. I like this babe. She's nice. Alright, but anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Let's get back to the farming here. Actually, you know what? Comment down below guys who your arms waifu is. If it's Twin Tail, Min Min, Spring Girl, or... Not Spring Girl, Ribbon Girl, or... Who's the other one? Um... Mechanica? Yeah, so comment down below who your arms waifu is. I gotta go with Twin Tail because she's... Extra thick in the words of Aku from Samurai Jack. I love that meme, guys. The extra thick meme from Samurai Jack. Alright, but anyway. She's dodging and weaving pretty well. But I just got her there. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my god, this, look at the car there, man. This game has some pretty annoying map designs. Like this one in particular, there's so many cars and they all block your attacks. That's the reason why mainly when I play online I try to stay defensive. Because there's a lot of stage gimmicks to make the game even more defensive than it already is. Alright, there we go. I didn't get a perfect, sadly. I really like this spring guy, dude. He's pretty... he's pretty goofy. Alright, we're up against Ninjara this time. Oh man, we're playing this now. This is my worst mini game by far. Expect me to fail here. I'm just so bad at this. I really wish that you didn't have to play the mini games on um on story mode or Grand Prix. Cause it's just like a whole nother learning curve that you gotta get used to, and my arms in particular aren't very good for this, like you can see Ninjara's, he, he's got the that arm that shoots out the three rockets. That's a really good one for this for this game. But I'm, I'm not really using that, so he's got a clear advantage on me. And look at the score. Look how much more he has than I do. I'm trying to attack him as well to like lower his score and raise my score, but he's not letting me get him. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose this. I should probably just pick one of those, the arms that shoot three rockets out just for this mode. Because anytime it shows up, there's really not much I can do. Alright, hopefully this doesn't take too long. If it does, I'm just going to cut to the point in time where I actually beat it.
Alright, I was able to do it there. It only took me two tries, so not too bad, but it can be worse. And I'm probably going to switch my slap Amander into one of those triple rocket arms so I can do better on that mode. Alright, we're fighting Min Min now. Min Min has one of the better mechanics. She has this air kick move, which is a really good tool for spacing and approaching. It also knocks away it also knocks away some incoming arm attacks. So it's pretty good. I would say Min Min and Springman are probably my two favorite characters so far. <laughs> Just look at this man. This complete domination with the dragon arm. Also, one of the reasons why I'm trying to grind some coins to get some new arms that I can use here. Alright, I'm going to try a rush attack. I got him. Okay, that was a perfect. So we're going to get an extra coin there. Pretty good stuff so far. Min Min also has some pretty good default arms. She's got the Megawatt, which is one of the better Thunder Arms, and she also has the Dragon, which she just demonstrated there by hitting me with it. You can also do like a counter punch kinda. Like if you get a perfect block and then you dash at the same time they hit you, you'll sorta of dash forward and it gives you an opening to do a punch. I'll try to demonstrate that, yeah, like right there. I didn't really do it well, but as you saw I was able to counter her attack and then rush in. Oh man, she actually beat me, not bad. I lost to a level 2 CPU, I should quit at this point. Alright, the toaster isn't doing much, so I'm gonna go with the slap Amanda for this one. The slap Amanda is a bit slower than the toaster, but it has a little more accuracy. So it's pretty good. I do prefer having the toaster with the dragon though, because it's faster and... It kind of helps the dragon slower speed a bit. This is such a Street Fighter-like stage, man. It's got the, the Chinese music and then we're fighting in a ramen bowl and there's a bunch of dudes in the audience cheering us on. This is something I'd expect to see in like a Chun-Li stage in Street Fighter. Alright, there we go. Okay, so how many more fights we got? Alright, we're on match 8. And we're fighting Ribbon Girl. 
She's a little overrated online. A lot of people are talking about her being like the best character in the game, and I don't think she is. She's really good though, but I, I personally think Min Min's a little better because of the air kick. But Ribbon Girl can jump like a million times when she's jumping. It's a really good mechanic that she has. Springman's special mechanic is when he's below red health, he's gonna start making all of his attacks automatically be charged attacks, which is really powerful. That's, I mean, if you see all my attacks that I'm doing here are charged attacks anyways, so just being able to do a charge attack without actually having to charge it is pretty good. Okay. That was nice. Well, it's my fault for doing the rush and not doing it at a good moment. I was just asking to get punished for that one. Sort of lower your guard, though, when you're fighting against the level 2 computer, right? Don't really expect much out of them. That's why I'm just doing the same move over and over. Because it does a lot of damage and it's the fastest way to get these wins. Damn, that, that's pretty bad of Springman to do, just clocks um, Ribbon Girl in the face like that. Alright, we're fighting Mechanica. She's another heavy unit like Mummy Master. Or Master Mummy. So, I'm just gonna completely destroy her with the Dragon Arm. Mechanica has a cool mechanic where she can actually fly if while she's jumping you can do a thing where she can hover in the air and fly a little. I guess that gives her a little bit more mobility than the Mummy Master, but still not as much as Spring Girl gets. I keep calling her Spring Girl, it's Ribbon Girl. Alright, I, I need to up my game here. I'm just getting wrecked now. I wonder what Mechanica looks like outside of that robot suit. You guys think she's as thick as twin tail? <laughs> she might be. I mean, for all we know, she is because she's got to be thick if she's wearing such a hunky suit there. That's like the only size of suit that can contain her thickness. <laughs> Alright, if I had the slap Amanda, I would have been able to punish her there, but the arms I have equipped aren't too great at punishing rush attacks. Alright, so we're up to the final match now. All that's left is the M. Bison look-alike final boss. Okay, here we go, Max Brass. He's been confirmed as a future unit for DLC, a future character for DLC. And he is also easy to completely wreck with the dragon arm. Oh, 
Yeah, look at that, man. If, if this was a human opponent, they would have DC'd long ago from all this dragon spam here. I wish there was a way to do like better combos than just run around and use the same attack over and over. And we got a perfect there in the first round, so that's gonna get me a better score overall. It's gonna get me some more. And there we go. So that's it for the Grand Prix mode. And also, another good thing about playing on level 2 difficulty is that I don't actually have to fight Headlock, the final, the real final boss. So we're able to bypass a pretty tough fight there. So it just makes the run a whole lot quicker. So all, all the stars that you see there in the in the um, ranking there, it shows all the fights where I was able to get a flawless win. I wish you could skip this animation just to get through. Oh, you actually can. Okay. All right. Well, I stand corrected. So I won 44 coins for doing that, and it only took about 20 minutes. So it's I don't know if it's faster than ranked because you'll probably be able to win a whole lot more coins in ranked if you just keep winning. But the thing about ranked is that some of the fights will end up taking out the whole timer. So I would say actually the method that I showed there is one of the fastest, if not the fastest. I'm sure there's some other really fast methods to farm some coins there, but that's the way I do it. So anyway, guys, this is your boy Tasho signing out. If you liked the video, then let me know if you want to see some more ARMS content, because I don't mind playing some more of this game. It's really goofy and it's really fun. So I wouldn't mind doing a ranked matchup video next. And if you want to add me on your Nintendo Switch so we can play some matches, then leave your friend code in the comment section and I will try to add you. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. So peace out.